What's up guys, this is Josh back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys a utility called MySQL Dump. Now, sometime last year, I did a whole little series basically showing you guys how to use MySQL, which is like one of the most popular database engines out there. And it was one thing that I did not cover and I forgot to go back and actually do this. So I figured I will make it its own video, but there is a utility that comes along with installing MySQL on a Linux system called MySQL Dump. And this utility is beneficial for people that are trying to, let's say, migrate a database over to another MySQL server or do backups of an actual database. And I've been using this utility for a very long time for all the websites that I host. I'll back up the databases that are associated with my websites and store them in a different location. And I'll run like weekly backups and then like a monthly backup or so and then store them in other locations. So I wanted to go on and show you guys how to actually do this. So sit back, relax, and I'll walk you guys through this full process. But before I hop into the terminal, I want to ask you guys to please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. I'll continue coming with these great videos dealing with the Linux operating system as well as tech in general. So let's get it. Okay, so we are logged into a Ubuntu 20.04 server that has MySQL installed on it. It's basically a LAMP stack and you know we all know that LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL or MarionDB and PHP. And so this is a brand new server and so I need to put some data on the actual server. So I found a test database that I will upload and install on the MySQL server. And I'll put the link down in the description to this in the video. And let me go down and hop over to the browser so you guys can actually see the sample database. All right, cool. So here is the GitHub. I'll put the link down in the description of the video, but basically this is a test database. And all I'm going to do is clone down this database or all these dumps and then install them on my server. So let's switch back over. What Basically what I'm going to do is grab the link to this. All you have to do is copy it and then use the command git clone and then the link behind it and that'll clone that directly directory down and then we can go through and install the database so let's switch back over to the terminal and first thing we want to do is clone down that directory that way we can have some data to work with so as i stated all we have to do is type git clone and then drop the link in boom and press enter and that'll actually clone that directory down that i was talking about and like I said, this is just a sample database and I'll go through and show you guys how to actually install a database onto the server or this database onto the server. So the first thing we want to do, we cloned it to our home directory. What we need to do is CD to that directory. So let's CD to test or change directory to test underscore DB and let's list out the contents. And it's basically everything that was in that repository on the GitHub site that I showed you guys. And what we're looking for is the employees.sql. And all we have to do is run sudo uh, mysql. And that's only because we're using a non root account with sudo privileges. And then also we have to type the the less than sign and then employees.sql, uh, which is that file in that directory. And that'll import this actual database into the server. And if we type in our password, you'll see it'll go through the full process and I'll just let it go. It's going to create a bunch of tables within that database and also put a whole bunch of data. So this may take a little time. So I'll skip ahead to where it finishes. And it's super interesting that uh, once it completes, this gives you a time of how long it actually took. So it took about close to three minutes to actually upload all the data where it basically creates the database, uh, creates all the tables within the database and then imports all the data 
into the database as well, into each one of those tables. Now that's basically how you import that example database that we got from GitHub. Now we can get in and actually show you guys how to use the MySQL dump command. And let's see these so we get back to the home directory because I want to store it in my home directory and not in that directory that we're in. But first, let me actually show you the data that's in there right fast. So if we go sudo, sudo MySQL and then dash u for the user, which is root, and then dash p for the password, it's gonna access for our password. So let's type that in, press enter, boom. So we're logged into the MySQL database. Now let's show you guys, or the actual server itself. Now let's show you the actual databases that are on here so you can see what is actually loaded. So all we have to do is type show databases with an S, press enter. That'll show us all the databases. And this is basically the database that we want to use. And the name of it is employees. And what I'm gonna do is copy it right fast uh, because we need to type it in using our other commands. Instead of typing out employees, I could just paste it in there. So let's type uh, use and then let's paste in employees and then semicolon and that'll change to that database. So every command that we run now will be ran against that database or every SQL command that we run. Now let's look at the full tables. So we could just type show full tables with a S and then semicolon at the end of it, press enter, and that'll show us all our tables. And the reason I use full, cause you can actually just run show tables and it'll just show you all the tables. So as you can see tables in employees. So that's the database employees. And then this is the tables within that database. But the full option also shows you the table type. And I just wanted to look at it just so you guys can see, but it has two views in there. So these are base tables right here and then two views. Now let's actually look at our employees. And I'm gonna just look at the employees table. Uh, I'm gonna just list out the information in there. So we can I can show you guys that there is data in this database. So let's go select store and then from and we want to look at the employees table and semicolon and press enter and that will list out basically all the files or all the rows within this table as you can see it's a whole bunch of employee information so that's all i want to show you guys that this database has you know a bunch of data in it and it's a great example for us to use the mysql dump command so now we can just quit out of MySQL. We don't need to be in it anymore. So now let's run the MySQL dump command. All we have to do is type sudo uh, because we have to use our sudo account. We're not using uh, the root account. So let's go MySQL dump. And it's just one word all together. And then we want to use that same user. So user groups, boom. And then dash P for the password. That way it access for our password. And then what we want to do is dump the full employees table or database, I'm sorry, into a data dump. And then we have to specify. So we need to put the, the greater than command and then where we're trying to dump the files to. So you want to, you know, just create a name. Like if it's a specific database for, let's say, a specific website, then you could put something associated with that website so you'll know what this data dump is for but i'm gonna just use data dump and then you want to put dot sql at the end of it and press enter and it'll ask you for your password and that'll dump out all the data and this may take a little time it'll dump everything for that database so if you need to like migrate it to another server you can just import it this way while using the MySQL dump command back into, let's say, a new server. But before we do that, I want to show you guys something else. You can actually test out that the SQL dump file was actually legitimate or just verifying because as you can see, when we ran it, when we actually dumped it out, it doesn't give you any output at all. It just dumps you back or drops you back down to the command line once it actually finishes. So in order to test it, there's a command you can run head and then dash in 
and then five and then we can select that you know data dump file and press enter and that will just basically verify the dump and just verify and make sure you know it's a legitimate dump and that's something you want to do especially if you get like sql files from other locations it kind of inspects it and just gives you out some information about the actual database or the data file that was dumped from mysql now let's go down and import that file back into the database so uh first thing i want to do is actually log into it because what you want to do is we're, we're going to remove that database that's up there right now so let's type sudo mysql and then dash user again to log into it uh, root and then dash p and press enter and that will access for our mysql password boom and let's run the drop command so we could drop the actual database that's there so drop database and then employees and semicolon press enter and that will drop that database for us so the database all the tables and all that information is dropped out of here but let's say we migrate in that dump file to let's say this is a new server let's just you know pretend that this is a new server uh, that we're migrating that database to we have the dump file it's our it's located in our home directory one thing with the dump file you have to create the database again in order for you to put everything back into it so let me show you guys how to do that now we can just type create a database and then we want to name it the exact same thing so employees uh, with an s and boom and put the semicolon at the end of it press enter that'll create our database and if we type uh, use uh, employees and then semicolon boom and then let's list out the tables i just want to show you guys that nothing is there anymore so let's go show tables and semicolon press enter and i misspelled it i always forget to put an s on the end of it but show tables as you can see it's an empty set so nothing is in that database it's just a, a clean database with no data in it so we verified that we have our database there. Let's go down and quit out of MySQL and import the data from the data dump that we did using MySQL dump. And the command to do that is simply sudo uh, MySQL and then dash U dash P and then employees. And that's the table that we want to import it. And so the less than uh, symbol and then data dump which is that file name and that's how we're going to import it in and basically that's basically i mean if you look at these arrows it kind of shows you what you're doing uh this is the data file you know the data dump that we originally had so we're basically pushing that to the database that's in the mysql server and actually i forgot something now i'm glad i looked at the command before i ran it but I forgot to put the user account in there, which is root. But if you look at this, this will tell, this will kind of, the arrow is pointing to the direction where the information is gonna go. It's just like uh, when we ran the dump file right here, you'll see that it's pointing in to the right, which is the direction of the file that we dumped the data to. So we good to go. All we gotta do is press enter and that'll import that all that table information all that data back into the, the employees database and we'll go in and verify it right fast and this is something you can kind of do if uh just to play around with it and get familiar with uh dumping data out and importing it back into a new server or in case something like that happens because servers go down all the time you know what i'm saying if you don't have backups you know in order to recover stuff then you'll be you know sol at the end of the day so it's good to practice and understand how to actually do this in case something happens in the future and this may take a little time so i'll be back when it actually finishes okay cool so it dropped us back it doesn't really give us any output it'll show us something if there is an error though but let's log into the server again uh, so sudo mysql you know and the user account as well as you know dash p that'll log us back in 
and let's go back to that uh, table again so use uh, employees and then let's show the tables and as you can see all the tables are back there um, and let's run full again because it'll actually you know show us the table types as well that way we can see it's exactly the same so if you remember you know we had some views and that was the purpose of me showing you guys that it did have some views in there it recreated those views and everything now let's go down and run that select again so let's go select let's find it there we go select store from employees and as you can see all the data is back into the database so that's a successful recovery of a database using a dump file and using mysql dump so i hope you guys enjoyed the video this is an awesome tool that you guys should become familiar with especially when working with databases now i know a lot of new developers are going with other types of databases and not using uh, MySQL or SQL databases. They're using things like MongoDB and a lot of the NoSQL database style, you know, ways of storing databases or data sets. But since there's a lot of, you know, applications out there that still have a MySQL backend, you wanna make sure you familiarize yourself with actually using a lot of these utilities within MySQL. So please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comments below. And of course, keep it techy.